You go ahead. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sadhu Rahman. I am a second year PhD student in Computer Science Department. My research focus in uh, computer networks. Uh, in my research, I, I try to uh, solve problems to make the internet faster and cheaper. Uh, so everyone, by show of hands, everyone wants a faster and cheaper internet, right? Yeah, that's right. That gives me the motivation every day to solve uh, the research problems and improve the internet. So uh, today I'm going to talk some basic stuff about the internet and give you some ideas how it works when I'm playing Pokemon Go, how, how the data goes back uh, to the backbone of the internet, to the data center, and it comes back with the result that I have successfully caught the Pokemon. So that kind of stuff. So to start with, the first scenario I'm going to talk about is where uh, your uh, cell phone is connected with uh, uh, your carrier, AT&T or Verizon and T-Mobile, whatever you are using. So uh, first, uh, uh, your data, so let's say you are trying to send a, an email over, uh, let's say Gmail or Yahoo. So first the data goes to the cell phone tower and uh, from there your email travels over the internet through uh, lots of routing and switching devices at last to the Google data center and then from there it travels back again to the recipient whichever carrier or the Wi-Fi terminal it's connected to. In some cases uh, if it's a desktop it can be connected to a uh, Ethernet cable, the cable we have. And the second scenario I'm going to talk about is let's say at your home or uh, in here you see Davis. So we have these devices, laptops and phones and they're connected through Wi-Fi. And then the next of these steps are almost the same, identical. So the, um, from the Wi-Fi router, the data will travel again through the internet backbone and go to the data center and serve your request. So uh, from the research uh, point of view, uh, the kind of interesting problems we look into is, so new sensors and devices are coming at, coming in the home and the enterprises that, uh, that initiates new kind of problems that needs to be solved. And uh, people, want, uh, people are using more and more data, Netflix, browsing, more apps. So that uh, puts a lot of pressure on the capacity and bandwidth. So that is another uh, angle that we try to solve research problems. And Internet of Things, the idea that everything is going to be connected, your refrigerator, your phone, your doorbell, everything is going to be connected at some point of our life, hopefully. Uh, so that again involves uh, security issues and a new bandwidth requirement. So we are trying to solve that kind of problems too. And in the backbone layer, in the middle of the internet, so uh, of course first of all we want to have a faster network and faster network devices. That's uh, one uh, side of our research problems and another side is while doing that, we also want to keep the uh, cost both for for the companies and both for the users uh, lower. And uh, another important thing is uh, we have to continuously monitor and manage the network as it is running. So if some device is down, uh, maybe your service will be interrupted. We don't want to want that to happen. And the third side of the network research is actually inside the data center. Again, the data center network is uh, a little bit different than the backbone internet network. So in that part, again, we have management issues. We, have, we want more capacity. We want more connectivity. So that is something that uh, we are also focusing on uh, to solve the problems. Any questions so far? Hopefully, uh, you have learned a little bit more about the networks and what kind of problems we work on. Mm -hmm. So, I realize this is the, um, actually you did great, so you have exactly two minutes left for questions. 
Um, so what part are you working on, like, are you specifically working on? So right now I am uh, working on, uh, I'm using uh, the data center network and the backbone network to minimize uh, operational cost in data center. Mm -hmm. So uh, in some cases you can uh, run the services requests that are coming in in a cheaper data center. Mm -hmm. So uh, my algorithm is, is figuring out where you can serve the service right now in the cheapest cost. What kind of data you use? Just email or other kind of? Mm, uh, it's um, kind of a generic solution. So whatever service the data center is running in the, so you, you can have emails, you can uh, serve streaming services, you can run Facebook in a data center and the services, uh, the algorithm can decide where to run it. What exactly determines the cost of where to run it? Is it like arbitrary assignments or the hardware? No, yeah. So, so we have uh, cost from the, of course, the hardware and the software. Then we have operational cost, like electricity cost, maintenance cost. Then uh, we also have the connectivity is costly too. So let's say Google have three data centers that needs to interact with each other and serve customers. But the connectivity, not in all uh, all the cases, Google owns the <coughs> network. He leases from the lease uh, from AT and T or Verizon the network itself. So it's costly too for the data center. So, so the question is: Is general is a free public Wi-Fi uh, usually unsafe? Like, are they safe? Uh, so the straightforward answer will be no. no. But yeah, there are ways to make it safer, mm -hmm. but in the end, almost nothing is safe in the mm -hmm. internet, I'd have to say. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's uh, about the time we have. Great, thank you.